Hello, everyone. I can't believe January is already over. I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. Uh, forgive my delay, but I hope you have a good, uh, productive, and happy new year, both personally and uh, in our work together. This is indeed a very special year for all of us at ICANN. Uh, the focus must and will be on our operational excellence. I am very focused on strengthening our capabilities so that it is clear to us and to everyone looking at us that ICANN is an organization that is ready and well equipped to deal and manage uh, our important mission to the world. Specifically, I want to talk about the new quarterly reporting focus that we have started a couple of quarters ago. If you haven't, please do go to the quarterly reports page on our website and see how ICANN management and leadership is presenting to the world once a quarter a full report on our activities and our financial position. We have also been very busy getting our staff ready uh, for this new phase of ICANN's work. That means making sure our staff is well equipped and is also clearly understanding the style and the purpose of ICANN in this community. The multi-stakeholder bottom-up approach is unique and is important. And as we grew from 120, 130 people to almost 350 people now, uh, and as we stabilize the population of our staff, it's important that we invest in this team now and ensure that this team grows strong and focused in the mission of ICANN and in the spirit of ICANN. And finally, of course, it is important for us to measure our progress against a clear baseline. How can we know together that our operational capabilities are meeting the needs of the community unless we have a clear baseline? With the new five-year strategic plan and the new five-year operating plan, we're now setting up the baseline dashboards that allow us to measure the performance ind indicators of ICANN. I'm looking forward as the new fiscal year starts in July to lay out this baseline and ensure that we are all focused on the measurements that allow us to together to agree how ICANN is performing. Needless to say, another major area of focus in 2015 has to do with the stewardship transition, the stewardship of the United States government over the IANA function. All of you have been immensely busy to shepherd the processes that will allow us to present the U.S. government with a proposal that will meet their criteria. I cannot tell you how important it is for us to get this right. To get this right means that we do it together, we leverage the full consensus of the community to deliver the right proposal, and that frankly that process keeps us cohesive as a community and ensures that the world sees that ICANN is ready and is prepared to actually meet the challenges of an independent organization. I must tell you also that getting this right is important for the multi-stakeholder model. ICANN, after all, is the organization that many look at for the health and the feasibility of a multi-stakeholder approach to address a larger number of issues beyond ICANN's remit. Our success is also the success of the multi-stakeholder model. The eyes of the world, as I said before, are on us. I hope uh, that we together achieve what we need to do and send the right message. I want to also tell you that IANA is not um, uh, simply the processes and uh, the job that we do for the world. IANA is also the people of IANA. Uh, this month we celebrate something quite special. The first employee of ICANN is still with us and she is an IANA employee. We celebrate her incredible commitment, her incredible uh, dedication. Uh, 16 years on, still in IANA, uh, and still starting uh, this new phase with us in order to ensure that all the work that IANA has done and she has done stays with us in this next phase. Uh, this is Michelle Cotton, uh, one of ours, 
and someone we're all very proud of. Recently, she sat down with our head of uh, global media and communications, Brad White, and she had a chat with him. Let's listen to her a little bit. Michelle, what has the IANA journey meant to you? Well, it's been a very long, um, wonderful journey. Um, we've gone through so many changes through the years, but every year we improve. Uh, we add uh, processes, systems, things to make doing our work easier, more efficient, and better. We're going into ICANN 52 in Singapore. In the context of your long period with IANA, why is this meeting special? Well, um, as you know, the IANA stewardship transition discussions are happening right now. And uh, that's going to mean some changes in the future. Um, so we're excited to see uh, where we go with that. And um, the bottom line really is that uh, the excellent services that we perform in the IANA department, we're going to continue to perform them just as we've done in the past, now, and into the future. And that's what's most important and dear to my heart. Great. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. You would agree with me that this is IANA. Michelle is IANA. And that's the IANA we all want. So as the world is dissecting IANA and how it works and how we take it forward, let's remember that the team that brought us to here, that kept the internet secure and stable for all these years, is still with us. And no matter how we fashion this and structure this, they will be with us and we will remain committed to the mission we have. Thank you, Michelle. I look forward to see many of you in Singapore. Uh, some of us, including myself, will start packing our bags this weekend and we'll meet you uh, in Asia. I am really looking forward to a great meeting, a meeting of substance, a meeting where our community shows the metal we, may, we are made of, a metal of dedication and commitment to the internet, to its stability and to its security. See you in Singapore. <laughs>